All right, baseball fans, before you leave the ballpark this evening, we've got a few more jerseys to raffle off still. And the first winner receiving Muddy's jersey is, yeah, yours, right off your back, pal. Draw me out a good one. Receiving Muddy's jersey is Charlie Blinson of Clayton, North Carolina. Charlie, we'll be mailing you Muddy's jersey. All right, the next jersey we'll be uh, raffling off is that of our manager, David Wallace. <laughs> All right, Wally's jersey goes to Frank Davis of Fremont, North Carolina. Frank Davis will be sending our manager, David Wallace, jersey along to you. All right, up next, the number six jersey that's worn by two of our ball players this year, uh, Logan Vick, currently with the ball team, and Tyler Naquin, now up at double A. And the winner of the number six is going to be Marcy Goknauer. Marcy Goknauer. Marcy, longtime Mudcat fan and season ticket holder. Congratulations. And then finally, the Francisco Lindor jersey goes to. Muddy the Mudcat, how'd that get in there? <laughs> no, it looks like Margie, I hope, I believe that is that Goff of, yeah, Margie, we got your phone number, we'll give you a call. Looks like Goff, and it looks like a Zebulon phone number too, so that's local. All right, big round of applause there. Fans, we had a long season this year. We started out with a bang, you know, swept that first series, and then we stumbled just a little bit, and, and it just seemed like it was mounting up against us. But you know what? Second half came along, wiped the slate clean, and these guys started pulling together, believed in each other, bought into Wally's program, and suddenly we started winning ball games. We've grown, and that's what we do at this level is create ball players to go on and play in the big leagues. We're going to be watching for you guys, I promise you. Don't forget about us either, okay? So one more time for the Carolina Mudcats as a team. All right, now we've got a couple of Carolina Mudcats organizational awards to hand out to some well-deserving players. The first award is named after T. Ed Hales, longtime Mudcat resident, and uh, the Ed Hales Award is presented annually in recognition of the player who best exemplifies unselfish spirit, dedication, and commitment to the community. This year we have two winners who each volunteered at numerous community events, including baseball clinics, visits to the hospitals, Wake Med Hospital in particular, and outings with the Miracle League of the Triangle. The 2013 winners of the Ed Hales Award are Cody Anderson and Tony Walters. Congratulations, guys. If you'll step forward, yeah. And we'll make sure Cody gets his. And a little photo opportunity here. Thanks, Tony. And finally, we have the Willie Duke Award. The Willie Duke Award is presented annually to the Carolina Mudcats ball player who best symbolizes the spirit and dedication to baseball exhibited by Willie Duke, known as Mr. Baseball, for his tireless efforts promoting the game Willie played and managed in professional baseball for nearly 20 years. He was instrumental in organizing, promoting, and developing youth baseball programs in the Raleigh area from the 1940s until 1993. This award is a shared award also. And the first of our co-winners uh, as a single-A All-Star and a Major League Futures player promoted at the beginning of the second half to double-A, and he's not currently with the Carolina Mudcats team, but he will always be a Mudcat. And then our second winner is still with the team, and he has showcased his abilities in every aspect of the ball game. Heading into tonight, his batting average was 295, and he was currently leading the team with home runs at 15 and RBIs with 59. 
all while playing stellar in the field. Not only was this player exceptional on the diamond, he was even more outstanding in his, as a role model in the community for our organization. Ladies and gentlemen, our co-winners of the 2013 Willie Duke Award are Francisco Lindor and Joey Wendell. Congratulations, Joey. Thank you once again, Joey. Well, that's it. We've got uh, a road trip to make. Be pulling for these guys, listening on the radio, the Mudcats Radio Network with Darren Hambrick up there. And uh, on 98.5, be sure to listen to the guys on the road. And uh, thank you all for a great 2013 season. We look forward to seeing you right back here on April 3rd for the 2014 season opener. Good night, everybody. Be careful on your way home. And thank you once again. Let's hear it one more time for your Carolina Mudcats.